Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you, the person that you are dealing with. How do you feel about each other? What's going on between you? As always, these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Pisces watching. So let's jump right in for Pisces spirit. Messages, guidance, please, for Pisces regarding love, regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. Spirit, what do we need to know about this connection and the energies between Pisces and this other person? I'm going to cut the deck. Let's see what we have for you, Pisces. Okay, the current energies between you we have the eight of cups and the page of cups hmm. on your side we have the page of wands and the ace of swords so some sort of communication coming in for you it seems like justice on their end libra energy with the queen of cups overall energy at the bottom of the deck we have the high priestess So I definitely feel like there's some communication happening here. I almost feel like you're waiting for it. Um, now we have the Page of Cups with Justice here. So I feel like this could be uh, someone expressing regrets or um, an apology perhaps. Let's see, what else, what else do we need to know about the energies between Pisces and this other person? What do we need to know? We need to know for Pisces and this other person. We have broken silence. Someone expressing how they feel, being open, vulnerable. What else we need to know? Oh, that one like flew out. Balancing act, juggling, and decision balance. Maybe this is somebody that's been debating whether they should open up and break the silence here. I think you've been waiting to hear from this person and it hasn't happened for whatever reason. Yeah, there's love letter, message, confession, response. A special message is on its way. Let me get one more. What else do we need to know for Pisces and this other person? Oops. Any guidance, any messages, please? Pisces and this other person. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So there's a strong connection here. Very soon's at the bottom of the deck. Strong connection between you and this person. However, one of you has to break the silence here, and there's a bit of a like a debating energy. Like they don't really know if they should do that. Maybe they have a lot going on right now. The Eight of Cups is here um, in both of your energies, so there could have already been a departure here. Someone might have walked away from the other person. Hmm. The High Priestess is here, so I feel like there's secrets, hidden feelings. Let's start there. Why is the High Priestess here, Spirit? Pisces and this other person. Why is the high priestess? The eight of cups. Hmm. Why is the high priestess here? We have the strength, Leo energy, and the knight of wands. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. So like I was saying, the High Priestess is about hidden knowledge, secrets, um, listening to your intuition. Kind of peeking beneath the veil. This is about whatever departure happened because the Eight of Cups came out again here. Knight of Wands could be that there's someone that wants to come back in after this departure, like very impulsively, uh, with a lot of courage, being very bold here. I could also see this as someone that is leaving a situation right now. Maybe to make a move towards you. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. 
Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Nine of Wands. So this was a very difficult situation for someone. And I'm saying someone because both of your energies are here, Pisces. So it could be you or this other person that I'm picking up on here. Seven of Wands. There was a lot of challenges, obstacles. Someone could be very guarded as well because of this departure. For, um, if it happened in the past, um, if someone walked away from you, for example, Pisces, you might be feeling a bit, you know, like you need to protect yourself. Yeah, Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So some sort of conflict here. Maybe you don't trust this other person or there are trust issues here. Um, the Fool. Someone probably wasn't really thinking about what they were doing and it affected this connection. I, with the Fool there, I'm getting, especially the Five of Swords and then the Fool, it's like someone was trying to maybe uh, win something at all costs and so they didn't really think it through. They just kind of jumped in. Um, someone could have maybe been thinking with their heart but not with their like logic too. Let's see, tell me about this Page of Cups. Nice Page of Cups here. Judgment, yeah, I feel like someone wants a second chance here. Might wanna revive something. They might be apologizing for past mistakes, realizing that they made a mistake with you. Yeah, there's a Two of Cups. It's that soulmate energy again. Can I get one more please for the Page of Cups? The fool again, yeah. I, th I feel like someone's gonna um, apologize for the mistake that they made in the past. Two of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck there. Maybe they were trying to juggle more than one thing and they couldn't, they couldn't keep that up. Um, I'm getting two-faced with that balancing act. I just looked at it and I'm getting like two sides, like two faces. I don't know if that's resonating for anybody, but it's, I'm getting almost like they were trying to keep two balls in the air but by kind of like appearing like they had it all under control but deep down they they didn't queen of swords is here i feel like you figured this out or you're very protect it's, it's like there's a boundary here that you don't you've set uh pisces um maybe you're hard to approach maybe it's hard to face you Maybe you just are interested in the truth. You don't really care about emotional displays. There's a lot of ways you can interpret that. Let's look at both of your energies though. Pisces, I have you on the left and your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Can we get some more clarity please for Pisces and this other person? Tell me about Pisces. What do we need to know about Pisces? Message. Oh yeah, Pisces, you're definitely going to get some sort of communication with this from this person. You have the Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, and now the Message Oracle here. Tell me about the person Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? Thoughts. They're thinking about you. Thinking about what to do. I think they have feelings for you here with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This could be you. They're thinking about you enough that they're going to reach out here is what I'm seeing. Get some insight, please. For Pisces. this other person tell me about pisces what do we need to know i'll be messaging you oh yeah <laughs> pisces if it hasn't been made clear already you're going to be receiving some sort of message from this person what else do we need to know about pisces you matter to me I feel like they, they want to it's like they're trying to have you believe them here because maybe you've lost faith in them bottom of the deck i regret what happened i think this person is um wanting to reassure you of their feelings 
So let's get some insight into what this message might be about. I think it's an apology, but maybe it's a confession as well. Like you were right all along. Um, but there's message all over this reading with love letter, page of cups. I'll be messaging message ace of swords and even the page of wands you can interpret as a message. Tell me about the page of wands and the ace of swords. Why is the page of wands here, spirit, with the ace of swords? We have the nine of swords that came out reversed, but I don't have reversals here. So, um, okay. The hierophant, Taurus energy. I'm getting here like pressure, like someone felt pressured or succumbed to pressure. Maybe they wanted to keep up with the Joneses or were trying to appear a certain way. There's the chariot, cancer energy. I think this person's coming over. Um, I don't know what's going on though, because I feel there's the four of swords and the nine, uh, 10 of wands with the high priestess. I feel like this person is like, they have something to get off their chest. I don't know if this is about a departure with the chariot, the eight of cups. Like they want to talk about why they left or what happened. Maybe they want to revisit an ending with you or if they're coming over, like they're leaving something to come to you. Can I get one more for this page of wands? Ace of swords. Nine of swords could also be like remorse, like someone that's literally awake at night. Their guilt like won't let them rest. There's justice and the eight of wands. So they're, yeah, it's, uh, they want to make things right. I also feel Pisces, it's almost like they want to like admit that they were wrong. Um, maybe you told them, hey, this is wrong. What you did, you know, blaming them for what happened or feeling like they screwed up, but they never admitted it back then because I'm getting almost like they're going to be admitting that you were right, you know? Because now they want to come back in. There's the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they realize, you know, a judgment, two of cups, the fool, that you are their soulmates. Tell me about the justice energy here. Why is justice here, Spirit? Why is justice here? Five of Swords. Yeah, they want to fix whatever the conflict was. If they deceived you, if they played you, if they did something that was just wrong. I feel like they want to fix this. King of Pentacles. Oh, they want to show up like a King of Pentacles. Interesting. King of Pentacles is definitely much more mature, reliable, loyal, dependable. Earth sign um, energy there. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then the Seven of Swords. Yeah. They, whatever they did, I feel it was deceptive, like deception. Uh, like they lied to you about something or kept something hidden because I have the high priestess that showed up here at the bottom of the deck. The high priestess is here. Seven of swords, five of swords is cards about deception. Some of you, this person lied about the fact that they were single. That's not going to be for everyone, but I feel like they lied about the fact that they were available for you. Tell me about the queen of cups. The devil, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. The Eight of Swords. This is um restrictive energy here, like stuck, feeling stuck, and also fear. I think um, this person's thinking a lot about their guilt. Um, I feel like this is someone that is feeling very guilty right now um, because maybe whatever they wanted didn't work out. And now it's like they're coming back to like apologize, to tell you you were right all along. You were right about me. You were right about us. Oh, these are um, upside down. Hang on. King of Cups is here. I still love you. I still care about you. Five of Cups, regrets. Yeah, communicating. Page of Wands shows up there again. So I think this is just confirming what we already see. And there's this person's regretting something, Pisces. And I feel it's because something has not worked out well for them and they're revisiting the past it's like they're looking back at the past and being like i shouldn't have done that um and wanting to talk to you this is there's message energy all over this reading and i think it's something that's going to happen pretty soon here 
So I don't think this is someone that like it's going to take months and months for them to reach out. Um, and I feel they're going to break their silence here. So maybe they haven't been speaking to you or communicating with you, but now they want to reach out and talk about this. Um, I think for a lot of you, it's not going to be um, a very like, I, I don't think the issue between you is that this person hasn't told you, like, for example, when they do come forward and to talk to you, I don't think it's going to be like, I love you. I think it's going to be more like you were wrong. I was wrong. You were right. I regret what happened. I shouldn't have treated you that way, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's the conversation. Maybe later you'll talk about feelings, but I just don't, I'm not picking that up a lot here. So expect that message because it's coming. I mean, it's all over this reading. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. If you haven't already, I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.